Hi, my name is Joseph Janisch. I'm product manager for magnetic position sensors at CMDI and today I'm going to introduce to you our CSSC 5101 magnetic sensor interface chip. What you see here is our CSSC 5101 EVAL kit. It contains this universal USB interface board uh, which translates USB into analog or digital formats. Then we have an adapter board that allows us to connect several of the magnetoresistive sensor modules and that's the module right here. This EVAL board contains two SCs. It's got the magnetoresistive sensor here on the left and this chip here is our CSC5101 sensor interface. What it does is it reads the signals, the raw signals from the AMR sensor and then converts it into a linear analog output. You see it's only got three pins going to the outside. That would be ground, the supply 5 volts and a ratio metric analog output. The whole module just has three pins and you do the complete magnetic sensing with this board. So of course to complete the magnetic sensor we also need a magnet. That here is a magnet holder with a magnet inside and all you need to do is to place the magnet on top hovering over the magnetoresistive sensor. And here we got our complete magnetic sensor board ready. Now as a next step let's hook it onto our EVAL kit. So we are now connecting this um, EVAL board module to the kit. You see there's three locations to connect an EVAL board. There's one up here, there's another one down here and there's a four pin. This is reserved for dual channel AMR sensors. Now let's get started with the GUI. So let's, let's first uh, install the download package. You see it comes with a zip file. I've already unzipped the package here and as we click into here, we see there's um, three subfolders and the one we are interested in now is the the one containing the GUI, the graphical user interface. Just in case you're installing this board for the first time, there's also a USB driver. The uh, Windows might prompt you to install the, the driver for the, uh, for the interface board and that's what you need to get the driver installed. But in, in our case, we have already installed the driver, so we click on that one. And if you scroll all the way down, you find an exit file that's called CSSC5101 GUI and we'll click on that one and this one should open the GUI for us. You should see that screen. And as a first step, I need to connect my board. What I do is make sure you have uh, module one uh, selected up here on the left, on the top. If you have connected the board, as I showed you earlier, on the upper corner of the interface board, if you use the second, uh, um, if you use the second uh, socket, you, you would choose module 1. But right for now, we use module 1 and we click connect. Now, as we connect the board, you, you should see some readings coming up here on the left. And that's showing how the chip is actually programmed. Now, let's check it out, how it works. I change to ADC and offset calibration, which is the second tab. And as I press the read, press, and as I press the read button, you see there's two signals coming up and I would now have to move the magnet and you see the interface is showing the sine and cosine signals coming from the AMR sensor. So let's stop here for now. There's another way to display the input, here you can already see if there is any distortion on the signals. Let's switch for 360 degree display for now, that's the upper right corner and if I start to read now, you see the actual mechanical angle in mechanical degrees, the digital angle output and also the magnitude which is the strength of the magnetic field. As I rotate it, you see it's creating a very nice clean circle. And the more circular and centered it is, you gotta slowly rotate the magnet now, the more accurate is our sensor. So that would be the, the inputs and already I'm showing now the outputs in terms of mechanical angle and magnitude. 
Now, what does that mean in terms of output? Remember, this, this module, this chip, has just three outputs, two supply and one analog output. Now, let's switch uh, to the analog output tab all the way on the right. And if I press read, the graph now shows me what is the actual output in volts that's coming out of the output pin. You see, right now we got 1.13 volts, depending on the angle the magnet is at. Now, as I rotate the magnet, again you will see that the output is changing. If I increase the rotation, the output, in output voltage increases and then at some point it switches back all the way to the, to the lower limit and then if I keep rotating it starts ramping up again. Now what you see here would be adjusted to an angle of 180 degrees. That's the maximum angle for an AMR sensor. But now let's adjust the mechanical angle to the output angle of the chip. So what I do now is I switch to the tab angle calibration. So what I do now is I adjust the mechanical angle, the start angle and the stop angle, in essentially the mechanical stops to our chip. So um, I start calibrating. What it is, it's asking me now for the, for the right stop, so I put it for example to the 3 o'clock position, press start, and then I put it to the stop angle, that would be in my case let's say the 10 o'clock position, I say press stop. I can now also adjust the maximum and minimum limits, the clamp levels. We just keep them at 5 and 95% VDD for now and I complete the angle calibration. Now going back to the analog out, what that means is, you see it's now clamped uh, at the upper level and as I move it down to the 3 o'clock position, it's clamping at the lower level. I keep rotating it, see now it's clamped and then it starts descending again. What I did now is I adjusted my electrical output to the mechanical limits of whatever device it's connected to. Now finally a word about uh, calibration. This chip has a very simple offset calibration where I can adjust for misalignment of the magnet or for offsets of the AMR sensor. So I just simply start calibration by pressing this button, calibration, start calibration. I rotate the magnet until these readings on the left are no longer changing. That indicates that it has collected all the data it needs for the offset calibration. I press calibrate offset again and now the offset is calibrated. There's a nice check how to find out what the accuracy of the sensor is after the calibration. That's this uh, start calibration button right there. So we'll keep rotating until all these checkboxes are filled. And then once that's done, it calibrates the mechanical angle, the accuracy. And you see on the left lower bottom, this time it's 0 0.1 degrees total accuracy. That's pretty good. You can get typically values around 0 0.05 to 0 0.1 depending on the, on the magnet, on the strength of the magnet. And you see this is a real good example of a very accurate magnetic position sensor. I'm Josef Janisch, Product Manager for Magnetic Position Sensors at CMDI. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the part.